What is your proposal for revamping our tax system, or are you content with it as it currently stands? I am not content with the way our tax system is right now. Uh, let me, thank you. I was going to bring that up in my main part of my speech, but Garrett, thank you for bringing it up because I didn't have but 10 minutes. Two different things. One is taxes on businesses. One are taxes on individuals. On businesses, I, I did say that uh, I'm going to need more than two minutes on this. Uh, on businesses, as I said, it's a 35% tax, second worst in the world. It'd actually be the worst other than the fact that Japan was hit with that terrible earthquake and tsunami. They were going to reduce those. That puts businesses at a disadvantage in our country. Guess who pays these taxes that corporations or businesses pay? We do. Businesses are not in business to go out of business and to go bankrupt. They have to make some sort of a profit. And so that tax ought to be made more competitive, simplify it for all, all businesses. Another change, as far as businesses are concerned, is, is what is called uh, territorial taxation. That means you get taxed where you earn the money. Businesses that are international, if they're U.S., if they bring the money back from some other country where they may be, they, they pay the tax in that other country, and if they bring it back into the United States, they then get hit with a difference of, of say, they paid 25 percent somewhere else, then they're going to get hit with a difference. So it's an impediment to bringing money back in the U.S. So I think we ought to go to a territorial system of taxation so our businesses, American-based businesses, aren't hit with this unfair double taxation. It'll make us more competitive. Now, for individuals, the tax laws are so complicated. We have as, about as complicated a tax law as there is in the world. And some people spend more money in compliance than the actual taxes they pay. And, and however, there are people who have made investments based upon these tax laws. They like the deductions, the depreciation, the credits, whatever it may be. And so it would be somewhat unfair to change the rules of the game on them. However, what I'm advocating is what I like to call the freedom to choose flat tax. And if you like the tax system the way it is, you can stay with it. However, if you'd like a more simplified approach that you could calculate it on, on one page, one, one sheet of paper, you could go to that, that flat tax. Now, what that amount would be, there's all sorts of uh, numbers for it, and it depends on the exemptions and, 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 and thresholds and so forth. But I'd say let the taxpayers decide if they like that flat tax or they could stick with the other. This idea, this concept, is not a novel one. Hong Kong has done this, and Hong Kong has a free system. They're not under the Chinese system as far as taxation. What they found in Hong Kong is overwhelming numbers of people all migrated to the, the more simplified flat tax from it. So that's, that's what I'm advocating. There are a variety of uh, proposals in both these areas that I think there's a, there's, a, there's a basis for a consensus to get that done. And I see that uh, uh, some of our, our uh, candidates for president are advocating it as well. So I think there's some good hope. I think, I think that the reforms that are, are most needed are in tax reform and the entitlement reform. You'd ask on Social Security and, and, and Medicare and Medicaid as well.